a month after the event, I got a box in my office um, from California, and it was from Norwood Junior High School. And when I opened the box, literally a thousand of these cranes <laughs> jumped out of it. We heard about the shooting, and we'll, we decided to make cranes to like encourage them in a way, to get them to feel like they're not alone. We had class discussion on what the cranes actually meant and how they are a symbol of peace. And give the history lesson about what the paper crane was about in Sadaku's story, which is an actual historical reference um, to a time period in World War II. A project like this helps students really look outside their own culture or ask questions about another culture in a safe way. We were able to actually talk about the Sikh community and then take a minute to really reflect and think about who else in our community might feel this way, might feel neglected, might feel mis misrepresented and misunderstood. I'm from Pakistan and I'm Muslim and Muslims around this country, in this country, they get a lot of hate too, so I can relate to them. It was like, I could feel their pain. Some people will call me terrorists, they'll say stuff to me, it's like, it's just like, sometimes it gets to your head and then you don't know what to do. Here you go, go for it. Could you put this on the ground? Please? I've carried this, uh, this one with me at events all around the country that I've talked at, uh, including Washington, D.C. So I really appreciated their gesture and, and, uh, and I, I reached out to their teacher at, at uh, some point later and thanked her for the. Ms. Carter, on behalf of the city of Oak Creek, I wanted to thank you for sending the gift of 1,000 cranes as a symbol of peace. I brought one of the cranes with me to the Sikh National Gala and talked about your school and their donation as part of my speech and hope that communities can find peace in the future. For us to get a response was just amazing. For me as a teacher, it's inspiring to know that these projects and these efforts are not invisible. They really are, in fact, impacting people in a positive way. I often say I have more faith in, in, in children than I do in adults sometimes, and, and this demonstrates, I think, why that is. They sincerely want to make a difference, and it's not me telling them to make a difference, they're choosing to make a difference.